In this video, I'm going to show you how to create this simple parallax effect using Photoshop. So let's get started. Hey, what's up guys, Drool here back with another video and as you can see, this is the final output. Now by looking at the effect, you can already tell that it's really simple. All I did was took the image, flipped it upside down and added a subject. Uh, so first I'm going to show you how you can do it technically and after that I'm going to show you the reasons why something simple like this works so effectively. So first of all let's go and open the image. So I'm going to go to file, open and select any landscape photo that you want to work on. So I'm going to select this, open it. Now before you start working, double click here, unlock the background and then make a copy of it, press Ctrl J. Now on the top layer here, double click and rename it to top. Now before we flip this image, we need to remove the sky so we can blend it properly with the bottom image. And to do that, this is really simple sky so you can directly use your magic wand tool. So right click here and select magic wand. And since the color of uh, water is also blue, I'm gonna go and keep my tolerance under control. So let's keep it somewhere around like 50%. That seems fine. And also before you make the selection, make sure you have this second option active so you can click multiple times. Then go and do clicks. Now as you can see, we selected the skyline properly, but we also selected some portions in building that we don't want. So to remove them, simply just right click here and select quick selection tool this time. And since we want to remove it, go and select the minus option. Then go and paint it on top of your buildings where you think the selection needs to be removed. So I'm going to go and remove it from here. So we have really nice and clean selection of the sky. And after that, go and apply a layer mask. But when you do it, hold down your alt key and option if you are using Apple. So hold your alt key and then click on the layer mask. So it will only hide the portion that is selected. This is done. Now go and turn on the eye of your layer zero, but make sure that your top layer is the active one. Then go and press control T, right click and select flip horizontal. And after that, again, press right click and this time flip vertical. Then go and confirm it. Now we need to move it upwards. So for that, select your move tool, but when you drag it up, hold your shift key so it doesn't go out of place. So now go and drag it up. Now we need more space for the top buildings. So for that, activate your layer zero, hold your shift key and drag this one down. Something like this. Okay. Just make sure you don't have any empty space like this. Now we need to rotate both of them together. So for that, hold your control key and select both the layers. Then press control T and rotate them from a corner. Now to fill up this area, just make it bigger. So hold your shift key and drag it from a corner here and then drag it from a corner here, something like this. Then go and confirm it. Now we need to adjust buildings a little bit, but before that, let's go and crop the image. So it will give us that cinematic feeling and better idea about how to frame the image. So select your crop tool and in the resolution, I'm using 1920 by 1080 standard HD cut. And then go and hit enter and then confirm your crop. Okay, so this is looking better. Now go and select your move tool and one by one, select your top and bottom image and adjust it exactly the way you like. So I like the way it looks and the effect is ready, but we have a little problem. There's nothing going on in the image. There's nothing to look at. So I'm going to go and add a subject. So for that, go to file, place and select the subject that you want to add. So I selected this. Let's place. Now, now I'm going to go and make it big a little bit. Okay, this is big enough for selection. Now go and select your quick selection tool, right click quick selection and make the selection of the model. And when you do it, make sure you are on plus option here, then go and do the selection. And here we need to remove selection from this area. So go and select the minus option and remove it from here. Okay, so the selection is ready, then go and click on your layer mask. So the background is gone. 
okay now we need to make him really tiny so it looks like he's falling from the top buildings and for that go and press ctrl t hold your shift key and make him tiny like really really tiny uh, i think this is enough let's go and make him a little bit big okay so i think this is big enough then go and select your move tool and adjust him the way you want so I think here it looks perfect because we have an actual frame of the image and there's this little frame created by the buildings and in between there is the guy falling. And the final effect is ready. As you can see it's really simple all you have to do is remove the sky and flip it upside down. But there are a few things that you should keep in mind before working on this effect. One is selecting proper images. So as you can see this is a really nice shot of a skyline. But the buildings they are not straight. There is actually a pathway leading into the horizon and there is a horizon itself. And that also creates this really nice triangular shape. And there is also a little bit water here. So when you flip it upside down there is actually a lot more depth in the image. So be careful when you select your images. And there is also another situation I want to show you. So this is the file. Now let's go and look at another situation that you might run into. So here as you can see in the original image, uh, there is no visible skyline. So how are you gonna remove the sky? The best you can do is mix both of the sky. So what I mean is let's go and turn this thing on, right click and delete layer mask. So let's say you have the situation where you need to remove the sky. So go and apply a layer mask first, then go and select your brush tool. Right click and make sure hardness is 0% and make sure you have black color here. Then go and make your brush pretty big like something this. Then simply just go and erase these portions like this. And let's say if you want to bring something back you can simply just change to white color and paint it back. So this way you can kind of merge complicated images like this. Also another thing I wanted to show you, let's go to the original file. So this is the file where I worked on and here as you can see I simply just made bunch of copy of my top layer and then I flipped it in different direction to give it a lot, uh, a little bit you know like Doctor Strange or Inception style feeling. I mean it doesn't look that great but you get the idea. You can be really creative with this kind of things. Don't limit yourself with exactly what I did. Plus you can also change your subjects. So as you can see, uh, let's go and turn this thing on. Okay so here as you can see I added two different people and I made them really close to the camera and then I just added some blur to the background so it gives it more depth of fill. But overall I didn't like the final output so I didn't include it. But you get the idea, you can also add you know something like uh, a helicopter chase, uh, you can have a really large bird, you can add everything that goes into sky. So it's up to you how you use this effect, there's nothing much to the tools or in the technical department but it's about how you use it. So I really hope that you guys learned something from this video and if you did hit that like button and if you have any kind of questions or suggestions feel free to ask me in comment section below. And if you are new here you can click on any of these boxes to check out more videos by me. Plus you can also click on that subscribe button so every time I upload a new video you will get the update. Plus clicking on that subscribe button will take you to my youtube channel where I have tons of photoshop tutorials waiting for you. So till then goodbye, take care and have some fun with photoshop.